Welcome to Microfocus. This is the concluding part of Exploring Identity Manager Dashboard. In this video, we will explore the options presented by the People and Administration tabs. All options are available only to an administrative user who is a provisioning administrator, resource administrator, role administrator, or a security administrator. For detailed information, see the NetIQ Identity Applications Administration Guide. The Users option allows you to see or create users in the system. The Groups option shows the groups that you belong to and its members. Organization chart allows you to view your reporting manager and your direct reports. You can also view the organization chart of other users by specifying their user names. The Teams option displays the teams in your system and allows you to create or manage teams. Use the Delegations option to view the delegations made to you. This option is displayed for a system user only if the delegations are made for that user. An administrator can see delegations of all the users in the system by searching the user's name. A team manager can see delegations made to his or her team members. An administrator can provide access to a user, group or a role to use these options. This is explained in more detail in the later part of this video. Administration The administration page is only accessible to the administrative users. Use the Roles option to create or manage roles. To do so, you must have Role Administrator or Role Manager permissions. Use the Resources option to create or manage resources. To do so, you must have Resource Administrator or Resource Manager permissions. Separation of Duties option allows you to identify conflicting roles in the system and create separation of duties. To create or view separation of duties, you must have Role Administrator or Role Manager permissions. To perform permission reconciliation, configuration and email-based approval tasks, you must have a provisioning administrator role. Settings An administrative user can access the settings page. To change the settings, click the drop-down arrow on your ID and select Settings. This page provides various options such as General Create clients and customize the client settings. Access allows you to provide access to different dashboard items to a user, group, role or a container. This allows you to specify which user accounts are trustees for the user and configuration based functions within the client. Customization allows you to modify the user's page view for the selected client. You can also specify general settings for notification and request forms. Branding allows you to add the organization's logo and name in the header and footer of the dashboard. You also can specify the brand colors and localize the content in the header. Help Desk allows you to configure help desk settings like setting up the help desk contact details followed by setting up granular permission details for help desk users. Dashboard Widgets allows you to provision dashboard widgets for a user group, container, or a role. 
You can also set the sequence in which it should appear on the user's dashboard. Thank you for watching this video.